I'm going to give you a quick talk and then I'll be singing afterwards, so bear with me. Um, I don't have flashy visuals, so I'll be the flashy visual. I'm going to talk to you about TEDx Cinema Nairobi. Um, this is a weekly event here in Nairobi that takes place every Saturday morning at the Westgate Cinema. It's really a place for like-minded people to spark creative engagement between like-minded people, a space to challenge our fundamental beliefs and explore new ways of thinking. We show two TED Talks followed by a casual discussion and usually get between 40 to 90 people every Saturday. And uh, good news is just today we did our 40th TEDx event. Um, thank you. Now, a lot of people ask us, is it worth taking this much time out of your already busy lives to do this? But when you look at the world, and like we said, these are huge contrasts, you see one billion people overeating while the other billion starve. When you see human ingenuity get us to the moon, yet we can't feed or house our people. When you see that success is determined by the amount you accumulate and not by the content of your character still. So we thought endlessly, what can we as individuals do? It so happened on our laptop, we had a bunch of TED Talks lying idle. And we thought to ourselves, uh, as a wacky social experiment, what would happen if we showed these TED Talks publicly and tried to collectively understand how we created this distorted world and explore new possible futures? And so we did. Uh, we have no idea whether anything positive happened, but it's been fun. Um, and, <laughs> and maybe our world never will be smarter or wiser, but it would be worse if we didn't at least try. There's a great quote by TED talker Chris Abani. The world is never saved in grand messianic gestures, but in the simple accumulation of gentle, soft, almost invisible acts of compassion. For us, TEDx Cinema Nairobi is a space for open learning to discuss and discuss and learn about why we're here and where we can get to. We hope to keep doing this further afield. We have our first TEDx event in Kilimani in November. It's going to be a monthly thing. And we hope to do the same thing in universities. So if anybody wants to help, we can't find an avenue in there. Um, and we really hope that by opening up our minds a little more, we'll perhaps change our actions a little more at a time. And the world will slowly become a place we can be proud of a little at a time. So yes, it's definitely worth taking the time out of our busy lives to do this. And I just wanted to end with, um, it's very important to note that we have to be wary of our environmental footprint, our carbon footprint. But in addition, I think it's something to think about to be aware of our ethical footprint. Thanks very much.